Hello, in my last video I showed my uh, boat dock elevator type thing that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So I started working on land based elevators where the boat didn't have to move out of its elevator shaft. This is the first prototype. You would place the boat on the center block. It would trigger off any of these corner pressure plates without affecting its ability to rise in the water. Underneath is just a ring of redstone that comes out the back to yeah, to this block. It's a torch underneath this block which keeps this one off. This L piece right here is just a vertical RS nor. You go in here. The button would trigger the RS nor to reset. It would turn these off or turn these on to open the doors and the boat would float up and then when you hit back down resetting the water stream or by resetting the water stream you hit the pressure plate it would reset it and the doors would come back down with the boat down here then there's another one up there I was planning on making it a a travel up travel down elevator it didn't work as well as I wanted to so I sort of stopped there but Placing it, triggers them all off, sets right, get in, press the button, the doors will stay open. Go here, I'm not going to do the reset, or did I set it up? Yeah, I set up the reset. There's a pressure plate underneath this minecart. This is solely just to get out easily without having to bump the boat. It just runs around, triggering my vertical pistons and gravity repeater. Ooh. Ow. And as you can see, boat's still in place, staying where it's going to be. And this is prototype 2. I decided to completely enclose the boat shaft on this one. This is just a water break to return back to the bottom. This resets the system. Resetting the water stream as you can see. It's going to come down, come into here. You cannot walk in there. And the pressure plates, again, is the same setup. Ring of redstone with to the back pressure plate or or the yeah let's see if I can jump this without using flying okay flying it is the same setup is over there slightly different powering system but same idea behind it the only thing is the pistons must be extended and thus must be powered. So the pistons prevent the issue where you'd get stuck on the trap doors over there. And you can place the boat right on that center block. It resets the system if it isn't already reset. Climb in, press the nice glowy button, and go up. And as I do not have another floor, I will just get out here. Now I didn't set, I didn't wire this one up, as you can see. But underneath, that's just a block with a the pressure plate on it, and then the minecart sitting on it. You can see the same setup over here. And that's just the wire coming off of it. And the water shaft down to return. Perfectly safe from pretty much any height.
the resets would all go back around. I just have it on this one set as a pull uh a pulse limiter. It'll trigger it off, push it up. This will trigger the next line and the next line until it gets here where it will then just power this for however long it stays up because they will just go up and then go right back down then you gotta wait for the stacks to drop which was my issue with this design otherwise it works fairly well just a little bit ugly on the fact I use half slab where there's not going to be a piston moving there was one there originally and again RS nor reset underneath but I still didn't like the look of this one so I went for the next one and this is the final prototype I'm building you could call it a production version I'm not sure I may add, I may add another option or two to it training again stop raining. So what I like more about this system is the entryway feels more open than that one, which was my main aim. It still prevents you from going into the system, prevents the boat from floating out of the system, and same water break, same reset button, and I just find it easier to put the boat on the glowstone. Floats up from between the blocks, still triggers the plates. You get in, you press it, the pistons pull back. It looks better with the solid block there. I've got two floors on here, so you can go up both floors. Safe to boat around in if you're worried about suffocating. Just make sure the boats stop moving before you get out. Yeah, I'll get out like this. Crap. Uh, that was not supposed to happen, but still, you can get out quite easily. As you saw, it only dropped a little bit of water, or a little bit of gap into the water. And the boat's right where it was up at the top. Again, same setup as over there with those half slabs. Just a minecart on a stone pressure plate. Runs around. I've put the reset on this side as well as the reset button it goes down here to prevent interference with the side pistons goes up the reset line for that floor would come here send it up otherwise coming from below it will power it like that and once more that was for testing and then it comes up into here I called, I'm calling this my cycler. It, it's sort of the equivalent of a pulse limiter for the gravity fed repeater or gravity fed uh, piston power. It'll come in here. It'll trigger off the stack at the same time running up here and turning this torch off. This will pull the block or pull the piston back the stack of extra gravel will drop into place and then once power is taken off it'll push this one in before the stack falls the reason for that is up here it'll power both what you want to power and after a delay I have it set to six here it'll push the block right off and it'll fall onto the backup stack. So it, it's a nice way to control it, in my opinion. But then again, I made it, so... Hmm. 
in the back where on the previous design had the the water control system I now have the whole reset this block here has a torch under it just as the other systems did but attached to it instead of coming up and then coming under here it's coming to the side and underneath this block and it has an R1 on the other side coming to this one as you can see or assume they are currently off so when it comes down it does its reset of the bottom it'll also trigger off the resets all the way up and one alteration I've made to this to get the blocks for the pressure plates up one more is instead of it being a ring of redstone underneath what it is is the redstone's being pulled off to the side and it goes through the half slabs back up and then over that way can't see it here because it is all closed off that half slab also covers the redstone as it drops down a level yeah I'd have to take the water away just to dig that out but pretty much it's a, now a U shape of redstone instead of a ring it's a little larger but I think it looks nicer with the glowstone and having them lifted up a little bit Also keeps the boat from being completely submerged in the water, and I just like how it looks having the plus of water at the bottom underneath the boat without having the boat sink into it like the other designs were. Actually, Prototype 2 originally had a hole down the center to prevent the plus, but you couldn't put the boat back in all that easily the button from here so and I think that's everything if anyone wants a tutorial of me building it I'll just probably completely erase another bunch of trees here just to start the building process again and that's it goodbye